Emma, did you get into a fight with Henry again? Henry's home again. I'm guessing you were nagging him again. It's insane that a woman nags a man. I'm sorry, mother-in-law. I'm sorry to bother you. Henry's over there again? I guess he can't feel comfortable being with you. How can you go against your husband who works hard outside? It's insane you drive him back home. I want to know how you were educated. Just apologize to him and ask for forgiveness. No, this time it wasn't my fault. We spent a lot of money gambling and for drinks. And he brought his mistress home. He was trying to make out with her in front of me, so I got mad at him. So he is the one that started this fight. You were complaining about that? It doesn't matter what Henry does with the money he earned. He works every day, so he needs something to relieve stress. If it's to relieve his stress, I won't say anything. And it's normal for men to cheat. You're the wife, still act like a wife. It's normal for a wife to accept mistresses. I don't know why you keep on nagging him for jealousy. You have such a small heart. You say mistress, but we're living in the modern age. And it's a third time. What if he gets someone pregnant? Oh, that's amazing. And then you can divorce him. I want a woman who will give me a grandchild. Because you've been married for two years, but he's not pregnant. That would be much better. How can you say that? It's only been two years. I can't think about having a child like this. Stop talking back to me. You don't work and rely on your husband's income. You can't get pregnant and you're a housewife. You're just a woman leeching on their husband. Elite? Exactly. You rely on his income. You have to know your place. Okay. Anyways, he's going to stay over at our house today. Apologize to him. If he dumps you, you're over. I understand. Hello, mother-in-law. I am home. Hello, Emma. Welcome home. How was the trip? Was it fun? Yes, it was. He gave me money and told me to go on a trip. I was surprised because you basically kicked me out. But I was able to relax. That's amazing. It was great because I gave you money. Anyways, there's nothing in the house. And these divorce papers are in the living room. What does this mean? It's obvious. We moved. What? You moved? What do you mean? Don't you understand? Henry dumped you. What? Actually, about a week ago, how many brought over a girl he's dating? She said she was pregnant with Henry's child. Since my son's girlfriend has a baby, we don't need you anymore. So we dumped you and I am going to have a new wife. And the new wife also works as well. She's different from at least like you. I see. So the mistress has a child so you're going to divorce me. And you moved while I was on a trip. Exactly. It's troublesome if you go against us. That's why we kicked you out using a trip. And then Henry moved while you were on the trip. I also moved into the new house. You didn't want to live with me. But the new girl wants to live with me. I see. I get it. Exactly. We don't need a leech clinging on to Henry. We need a young girl who can't also give to us. You have to get the fuck out. Okay. I understand it's fine. I'll leave. I'll follow divorce papers too. Thanks for everything. Seriously, we wasted so much money and time on you. I wish you can give it back to us. But I will forgive you. You're going to be support now. Don't ever come in front of us again. We're strangers now. Disappear. Hey Emma. Leave. Hey Corella. What's up? I am busy. How much trouble do you want to cause us? You still have Henry's money. Give it back to him. How can you do this to him? What are you talking about? Stop acting dumb. When we went to the bank, there was hardly any money left. You stole it. It's a false accusation. We had completely different bank accounts. I don't know his bank information at all. 
Stop lying. When I said we don't have money, she left. She said she didn't think we were so poor. She? You mean the mistress? Also, the child wasn't Henry's child. That's what she said. She betrayed us. I see. Also, Henry's other girlfriends, some of them were engaged or married, and they're asking for alimony. Oh, that's terrible. We don't have money because we just moved. We're going to be bankrupt. So give the money that you stole. We can see you. I'm saying I haven't stolen anything. I can't steal from a bank account that hardly has any money. What? What do you mean? It's obvious. He spent so much money on drinks and gambling. He went to clubs and spent so much money on girls. How do you think he has money? He only makes about twenty thousand dollars a month. What? No way. There's no way Henry's income is that little. You didn't know about it? Have you ever seen his income? No. How do you live until now? With that income, you can't even pay the rent. And you were a housewife. Where did the money come from? From my income. What? I wasn't actually a housewife. I was working from home. What? I said I quit my job when I got married, but I was actually working there. They told me they didn't want me to quit. So when he was at home, I was working from home. That's why we were able to make a living, even though he has no money. What? Why don't you say so? Why would I say that? Do you know why I quit the company? Because your son caused trouble. He kept calling the company or vandalizing the website. He came to the company and tried to hit on the girls. He did that because he wanted me to quit. He was pissed because I was making more money than him. No way. That can't be true. Who is that that you said you wanted to quit? He said that you quit without asking him and became a housewife. Oh, I see. That's why you were so strict with me. I get it. He lied to both of us for two years. That's amazing. Well, I guess it's your fault for raising him like that. I want to see his parents. Well, you can just look in the mirror. I can't believe he was lying to me. No way. Anyways, I am fine. I make at least four times more than him. Well, your house is amazing too, especially because there isn't a shitty man like him in the house, and there isn't a crazy mother-in-law. I can work whenever I want to. It's crazy I was working hiding from him. I don't know why I didn't divorce him until now. I guess my brain was just kind of blanking out back then. I wasted so much time. It's okay now though, cause it's over. I'm okay. So I hope you guys are too. Wait a minute. If that's the case, it's fine. Come back. I'll let you get back together with Henry. What? Were you listening to me? What's wrong with you? Why would I want to be with a gambling bitch? And he has on every girl. You guys are the one that kicked me out. I know you say you will let me get back together with him. Who do you think you are? We're in trouble now. We have no wife or grandchild, and people are demanding money from us. We are poor. We don't even know if we can buy food today. Henry is also depressed. So what? I don't care. We're strangers because we're divorced. I know that. But you were family once. So why don't you help us? Why would I help my cheating ex-husband with his shitty mother-in-law? Stop being so naive. If I was that naive, I would be at the museum by now. I'm not going to help a worthless person like you. I will never do that. I don't want to be involved with you guys ever again. No way. We're really in trouble. Please help us. Please. I apologize about the past. Even Henry and I will bow down to you. Please help. I don't care if you bow down to us. My timer when he won't come back. If you can return things to me, please do so. But I don't want to be a shitty human. So if you guys want to blame someone, blame yourself. Anyways, take care. After that, not only Cruella but Henry also texted me. He kept on nagging at me, so I blocked him. They kicked me out, and they texted me after only three days. 
It was so crazy, it was funny. I texted all of Henry's mistresses, husbands, and fiancés, so they would demand alimony to them. After that, they rented some money from the black market and paid all the money. But Henry's gambling addiction hasn't gotten better and they are always in need of money. They tried to run away from the black market because they are in so much debt. But they were called and taken by scary looking people. It's crazy they don't learn from their mistakes. Now I'm in my new apartment and I stopped working from home. Now I'm working just for myself. On my days off, I hang out with my friends and go on many trips. I'm going to enjoy myself because I haven't been able to for two years. Jace, I'm going to sleep soon. You're not home yet? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be back on the last train so it will take a bit more time. You can go to sleep first. You said that, but you didn't come home until morning the other day. Are you drinking tonight? Yeah. That's been happening a lot lately, and your overtime hours are increasing. Can't you reduce your drinking parties a bit? I can't help it. There are various social obligations associated with work. There are times when I want to go home, but I can't. But you don't drink alcohol, do you, Jace? Even if I can't drink, I have to attend because it's part of my job. But if you come home in the morning several times a week, you'll ruin your health. You're not that young anymore. I think you should take better care of your health. You already have a lot of overtime. I'm okay. I know my body best. I'm getting plenty of rest, so it's okay. If you're taking a rest, I think you should finish your work earlier and sleep comfortably at home. Are you particularly confrontational today? I'm working hard for you, Claire. I understand, but you've been sleeping at home less and less lately. I'm worried. If you're worried, can you not nag me like this? It just adds more stress. I'm sorry, but Jace, you've not been replying promptly lately, have you? When I can't reach you, I get worried. That you're being forced to drink and have passed out, or that you've had an accident. You understand, because I'm always late lately. You don't need to worry unnecessarily. But I still worry. Okay. I'll try to be more in touch from now on. Is that okay? Well, but I still think you should rest more at home. You often leave the house even on your days off, right? You won't be able to recover. You're right. Then I'll relax at home on my next day off. Really? Then I'll make a lot of nutritious food you like. Yeah, thank you. And I'm sorry. I was harsh even though you were worried about me. I might be tired after all. It's okay, I know you're working hard. But you need to take better care of yourself. After all, I'm working too. Don't overdo it. Understood. I'll try to come home as early as possible. Yeah, be careful coming home. I've prepared the bath for you. Hey, Jace. I was checking our bank account just now. It seems that $210,000 has disappeared from our savings since we got married. Do you know anything about this? If not, I'm going to the police right away. Sorry. That was me. I figured. What is this? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I'll explain later. What do you mean by later? Where are you now? I'm outside. I know that. I mean, where are you and what are you doing? The money seems to have been withdrawn yesterday. Did you possibly use that money for something? No, that's not it. Well, that's not entirely true. Please explain right now. Today is a holiday. You can come home, right? Sorry, I can't come home yet. So, what on earth are you doing? Please explain properly. I'm at my parents' house now. Uh, your parents' house? Why? Actually, my mom got sick. We need money for her hospitalization and surgery. So I took $210,000 from the account. What? Your mother got sick? Why didn't you tell me? Sorry. 
My mom asked me to keep it a secret, so I couldn't tell you. But I was getting regular messages from your mother. She was saying that she's doing fine. She didn't want to worry you, Claire. It seems like it's a disease that can be cured with hospitalization and surgery. Please act as if you didn't hear this. That's fine, but... Recently, you were away from home even on holidays because you were going to your parents' house. I'm really sorry for keeping it a secret. So that's what it was. But I think I won't have to go for a while after this time. Does that mean your mother is going to be hospitalized? Yeah, that's it. But don't we need to visit her when she's hospitalized? I think there might be things she wants us to bring. Wouldn't it be better to bring her some supplies? No, that's fine. I'll do that on weekdays. You, who are busy with work? Wouldn't it be better if I helped? You have overtime work. You won't be able to visit during visiting hours, right? No, I can manage. My mother hates to bother others the most, so I have to cooperate with her there. I know I've only known your mother for about two years, but isn't it harsh to call her other people? Sorry, sorry, I misspoke. Anyway, I don't want to bother you, Claire. My mother also says she doesn't want to be a burden. But I can't just do nothing, can I? Besides, during her hospitalization, wouldn't it be better if we cooperated and took care of your mother's needs? I appreciate your feelings, but I want to respect my mother's wishes. Well, I've already caused you trouble with the money. I hope you can pretend you don't know. I'm still not quite convinced. I'm worried. So when you come home, let me hear a little bit more about it. What specifics? I told you what I know. I want to hear the name of the disease, the hospital, etc. What are you going to do with that information? What do you mean by what are you going to do? Is it okay to ask in case something happens? Like I said, my mother doesn't want to be known. I won't tell your mother, you know. I don't see the point in deliberately hiding it. No, you might feel obligated to ask my mother. I won't tell you. What's that? Since you used our savings, don't I have the right to ask? All right, I'll talk about it later. I'm busy now, so see you later. Claire, sorry to interrupt your work, but I have something important to talk about. Something important? I've been made to quit my job. What? I'm sorry. How did that happen? I was kind of blamed for my boss's mistake. What's that? So why do you have to quit? That's strange, isn't it? I know it's strange, but I don't have the power to fight back. Power to fight back? Well, I see. I'm really sorry. I'll do the housework from now on. I'll also try to find a new job as soon as possible. You don't have to. What? Sure, you're working so we won't be in trouble right away, but I don't want to be dependent on you. It's not that. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're getting a divorce. What? Divorce? Yes. Why the hell? You're divorcing me because I lost my job? How heartless are you? And don't you know that my mother is also sick and having a hard time? Don't talk anymore, you're making me mad. I'll stop by to pick up my stuff after work today and leave. Wait a minute. Are you really going to leave me like this? I'm in pieces and you're just leaving? What about the rent? I'm unemployed. I don't feel like talking to you right now, so I'm going back to work. Claire, we'll discuss this when I get home. And I'm not going to accept the divorce. Claire, are you really going to divorce me like this? Please come back. You said you would contact me when you were ready for a divorce. I'm busy looking for a new home too. I'm currently living in a weekly mansion. You have to come home. Why don't you come back? You never listen to what I say. As soon as I quit my job, you want a divorce. Am I of no use to you if I can't earn money? You're cold-hearted. How am I supposed to tell my sick mother? Are you still saying that? You know what? You think I don't know anything? What? Didn't you have any clue when I said I wanted to divorce? What clue? Well, nothing. 
You're really shameful for lying to the end. You were having an affair, weren't you? I wasn't. Why are we talking about an affair? The two hundred ten thousand dollars for your mother's hospitalization and surgery. That's a consolation payment, isn't it? What are you talking about? I know everything already. The day you took out two hundred ten thousand dollars on your own, the day before I noticed, your mother sent me a picture saying she was traveling. Huh? You weren't doing anything for the house. You didn't respond when your mother contacted you. So for about the last year, I've been dealing with your mother. Is that so? Did you really get a message from mom? Yes, I did. And yet, your mother is sick. And it's strange that she's traveling and going home. I asked your mother immediately. She said she wasn't sick. No, that's not it. My mother is hiding her illness from you. I think you're lying. You're the one lying, aren't you? I'll only talk with you when my lawyer is present. Your mother also said she would be there. You really did something stupid. I'm sorry. The illness of my mother is a lie. Are you finally admitting it? But I really did lend the money. To whom? A friend. Which friend? A person you don't know. Even if I don't know them, will you tell me and give me their contact information? I want to verify. No, I don't want to bother them. They're really sick and in the hospital. Even if they're in the hospital, they should be able to communicate, right? I've lent two hundred ten thousand dollars from our savings. I can't trust you if I can't confirm it. You even lied about your mother being sick. Okay, I understand. I'll tell you later. When is later? I intend to divorce you now. All that you can do now is to respond to me with sincerity, right? That's why I said I'll tell you later. Fine. You've run out of lies, right? You were making up stuff about your mother's hospital and sickness from what you found on the internet. You paid the two hundred ten thousand dollars consolation payment to your boss, didn't you? I know that you paid it because you got your boss's wife pregnant and had an affair with her. Why do you know that? Because your behavior was strange. I contacted your colleague's wife. I'm sorry. You finally admitted it. You've been lying all the time. Do you think there's anyone who wants to live with a man like that? It's not like that. I was seduced by my boss's wife. I was led astray. I was framed. Even if you were, by the time you paid the consolation money, you were at fault, right? You were fired not just because of the affair, but also because you were pointed out for using company expenses for personal use. What are you really doing? You're too despicable. Claire, I'm sorry. I truly regret what I've done this time, but I desperately lied because I didn't want to hurt you. Because the one I truly love is you. It was a lie to protect you. The reason you lied was not for me, but for yourself, right? Do you remember what you said when I left the house? You blamed me for being heartless, and you insulted me terribly, didn't you? Where were you protecting me in that? You just hurt me. I did say too much at that time, but I was desperate not to break up with you. You didn't want to break up with me for the money, did you? You paid the consolation money, your savings decreased, and you lost your job. And if you get divorced, there will be a property division, and you will lose money, won't you? Ask the people around you who is a cold-hearted one. I'm sorry. I won't have an affair anymore. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know if I can forgive you, but it would have been better if you had honestly told me everything. But you just kept telling stupid lies to not make yourself a bad guy. I'm really disgusted and speechless. Sorry, but I have zero trust in you. No matter what you say, it's too late now. People make mistakes, don't they? I just happened to have an affair. I finally understood how serious it is. Blame yourself for lacking imagination, and don't push the responsibility of your failure onto others. You betrayed me, hurt me with lies, and when I said I wanted a divorce, you were the one who criticized me as if I were the bad guy. I have no intention of getting back together with you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's too much to apologize for. I'll get back the consolation money for the affair, the property division, and the money you used on your own. I don't have that kind of money. Then either take out a loan or choose an installment plan. 
Well, ask your lawyer for details. I'll be going to the discussion soon, so ask then. Please, Claire, don't abandon me. It was you who always worried about me, was kind to me, and supported me, wasn't it? You are the reason why the kind me chose to divorce. The kind wife I used to be isn't here anymore. It's because you turned me heartless. After that, I had a discussion about divorce with my husband, my lawyer, and my mother-in-law. My husband was grumbling about not wanting the divorce until the end, but during the discussion, he was battered by mother and eventually he gave in, and we were able to divorce. The remaining savings of the couple were taken as compensation and proper distribution to me, and the insufficient part will be paid in installments. Since then, my husband has been trying to find another job, but whether the company had been pulling strings, he could not find any job in the same industry and is now doing a completely different job. And the wife of the boss who was the affair partner also decided to divorce, and I heard that my husband was being pressured to remarry by the ex-wife of the boss. However, my husband does not want to remarry, and discussions for the future are still ongoing. I'm not interested in what will happen, but it's all a result of what my husband did. I hope he takes responsibility and behaves like an adult. Since then, I have found a new place to live alone and have started a new life. That being said, for several months after the divorce, my husband was often not at home, so my life may not have changed much. However, the frustration, anxiety, and despair I felt in my married life are now gone. I have anxiety about whether I can love someone again, but for a while, I'm not going to think about difficult things, and I'm going to take care of myself and live each day and I plan to have more fun and fulfilling days than my ex-husband.